guys, welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Now this is a very late upload on the channel. The news broke a long, long while ago. I think it was like, well, I'm, I'm not even too sure what time it was. It was like 5, 6 o'clock, maybe something like that. That Newport County announced signing number 2 of the window. Now I've been busy all evening, so I've not been able to do a video on it. So I am recording the video now. And it is about the second signing of the summer Kyle Jameson coming in from Tramier Rovers like I said for these new signing videos I'm going to read the club article from Newport County obviously there's not one from Tramier I did look on their website they haven't released anything in terms of a solid article about Kyle Jameson um, and then I'll look at the stats of obviously his career last season um, and then I will give my final opinion on it so Let's start off with the article, Newport County sign Kyle Jameson. Newport County manager Graham Cochran has made his second new signing of the summer with the arrival of 24-year-old Kyle Jameson from fellow League Two side Tramia Rovers subject to EFL approval. By the way, if you can hear a loud buzzing noise, that is the, um, the fan behind me because it's absolutely boiling at the moment. Anyway, carry on. Kyle, whose arrival follows hot on the heels of local product Nathan Wood Wood's switch from Penny Bont, has signed a two-year deal with the club ahead of the new campaign. The central defender started his career at Safeport back in 2017 and soon attracted interest from numerous Premier League teams before subsequently landing a dream move to Chelsea. He progressed well in the under-18 squad and contributed to the London club winning the English Youth League before spells at West Brom, Barrow on loan, AFC Fylde, Oldham and more recently Tramia Rovers. So already, you know, he's won something. I know it's the under-18s English Youth League Cup, but still he's got that. At 24, to win a, a, a cup already is immense. He made 14 appearances last season for Rovers before Cochrane persuaded him to make the move to Newport County. The Newport boss spoke highly of his new newest addition, saying Kyle has fantastic size and has a great presence, declared the gaffer. One thing we were short of last season was pace, and he brings us that in abundance. He's effective in both boxes with his height, and he's very capable of commanding that back line. Kyle has massive potential, and there is no reason why he can't kick on and play higher. I really think with this potential that he has... If he buys into it, he can really push on with his career. A Newport's newest recruit can't wait to get started. In an interview, I met with a gaff. In an interview, he said, "I met with a gaffer a few weeks ago, and he had a long chat. I liked everything he said about Newport, and at that point, I knew it was perfect for me. I am delighted to be here. I can't wait to get going, meet all the boys, and have a good season going forward." So that is the article coming out about Kyle Jameson. Like what? The article says, you know, he's been at Barrow, he's been at Oldham and Tramia, all three teams. I think um, Barrow, at the time he was at Barrow, I think they were in the National League. But he's played at League 2, National League level, quite a considerable amount. He knows exactly what it takes to win something. Yes, it's only a youth cup, but it still is a building block. At the age of 24, you know, he's got an abundance of of um, game time considering you know he's a young defender sometimes defenders take a lot longer to grow into the team because teams like to play a more established centre back ahead of uh, a younger player in terms of his career 46 league 2 appearances across obviously Oldham and Tramia 44 games in the National League and in terms of this season he made 14 appearances Four Tramia Rovers, ten League Two games, two games in the EFL Trophy, and then a game each in the FA Cup and League Cup. Fourteen games this season for the centre back, and look, it brings a lot of presence. Like Graham Cochran said, he's, you know, he's a tall defender. He's going to bring that. Um, like I said, he's only 24, so there's still a lot of room, uh, a lot of development. He's not going to be amazing. I think he will have. Uh, well, I'm suspecting that he'll have, you know, a slow start maybe as a new team, maybe a different type of setup. But once he gets going, I think he'll be a really good centre back. Him, Mickey Dimitro, if he stays, and maybe Priestley Farcarson as a back three would be really solid. You've got pace in Carl Jameson as well, which Graham Cochran was talking about, which I think is going to be a great addition. We don't normally have a rapid centre back, and that's what um, the defender from 
Tramia Rovers will bring. My opinion on it, I think is a good signing. I'll rate it out of 10. I'll go with a, a 7 out of 10. I, if I was to rate the Nathan Wood transfer, I forgot to do that. I'd probably say that's a 5 out of 10, just because he's an unknown. Um, but Carl Jameson, he's coming in with um, an ego to succeed. He's coming in with an ego to just can't wait to get going. And he's also coming in with that all of, you know, he's, he's been at Chelsea Academy. You don't get into Chelsea's Academy and stay in there to, to play in a youth cup. If you haven't got something about you, we know what they're like with loan signings. They loan out loads of players. Um, so for him to cement himself into that youth team was very, you know, very good for him. Um, and obviously makes a good acquisition for us. Let me know your thoughts on this transfer in the comment section down below. Yes, it's a late one. Sorry about that. But yeah, good signing. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Kyle Jameson. Welcome to Newport, Kyle Jameson. Here we go. Tramia to Newport. Done deal.